All right, uh, rear wheel tutorial, how to diagnose the rear wheels and rear brush assembly. To remove the rear wheel, on the hubcap you've got two notches, one at the bottom, one at the top. Take a straight screwdriver, get behind the wheel clamp and gently pry it out. Okay, once you've got it out so far, they can slide it out. And you see you've got two sides of your, your wheel clamp. Make sure when you put this clamp back in that you have one on the top, one on the bottom. Not side to side, that's wrong. Now to remove the rear wheel, take a straight screwdriver. Work behind the wheel. Gently pry it off the unit. Okay. On the manual units, you've got a gear inside each wheel. All right, you've got two bearings. You got one outer bearing on the outside of the wheel and you got a bearing on the inside of the wheel. Now this bearing here is seized up, so this bearing will have to be replaced. Turn the bearings with your fingers. They should turn smooth and free. This one here turns with no, no resistance. This one right here, this bearing is dragging. You can feel, and it's noisy. You can hear when I turn it, it's noisy. So this bearing has to be replaced. Okay, now we go to the other side. Same as the opposite side. Work your straight screwdriver behind the wheel clamp. Gently pry out. Remove your wheel clamp. Remove the rear wheel. You find another gear in behind your, your opposite wheel. Check the bearings. This bearing turns smooth, no resistance. This bearing will have to be replaced also. It's, it's dragging and you can hear, you can hear it's making noise. To remove the rear brush, turn your brush holders until you find the notch, the indention, and if you look on the inside, there's a tab and it says push. Push the tab till it clicks and the brush will slide out. Now you want to inspect your brush holders. This brush holder is frozen. It's not turned, it should, it should turn freely and smooth, and this one is not. Check the opposite side. This one is frozen also. So. To correct this problem, what, what this will cause is cause your, your rear, rear wheels will not want to turn and your rear brush will not turn. So 